at one point or the other, we actually err. And when we err, we, we have people that need to call us to caution. But if you need to actually correct that person, you don't correct the person in public. And there is, uh, there is even an approach. There is what we call the CRC method of correction, whereby you first of all comment the person. You look for maybe something good about the person. So you tell the person that, look, okay, um, darling, I know that you're so very beautiful. You're this, you're that. You give her accolades. That does actually make her calm. Then you now tell them, that, but what, do you actually know what you did today is actually wrong? And this is, this is it, this is it. And you can actually do better. So you've corrected the person. Then you now come with that as you corrected. Then you now come back with the, the commendation again, whereby you also now commend, ah, okay, but all in all, I still love you and this, that. That way, the person sees that particular means of correction as a very good way. And the person might not even know that, okay, you've actually, it might just be a way of you expressing your dislike. Because you've actually, in that kind of approach, whereby you first of all commend her, tell her how good she is, then you just tell her that, I think you should stop doing this. I think you can actually do this. Then, instead of going out, what sort of nonsense is this? Are you mad? Are you this? Are you that? When such people go through, when people who go through that, or maybe they are sleeping, sometimes a lot of people, the trauma doesn't come immediately. It's something they battle with for a very long time. And when they don't continue to remember those experiences, they find it hard to actually come, yeah. come over. Yeah. Another thing, another sign you should see is when a partner pressures you sexually on, on things you are not ready for. I mean, like I, I'll, I'll keep saying, he's your partner, you are his partner, you guys are companions, he's, you guys are supposed to be one. You're not slave one to one another. He's not your slave, you're not his slave. So why would he want to force you to do things you are not ready to do? Especially in, in, the, in the bedroom aspect. I mean, why would you rape your wife? Or why would the wife rape her husband? You that is forcing her, forcing her to do what she doesn't want to do or forcing him to do what he doesn't want to do. It's wrong. It's actually, con uh, what's it called? It is actually debatable, actually, because some people still believe the fact that uh, you can't rape your wife. They say, okay, if I am legally married to this woman, so at every point in time that maybe I want to have access to this woman, I should be able to have Come access. On. I mean, intimacy is a, is a, is a mutual, should be a mutual agreement. I mean, it should be enjoyed by both parties and not force it. Because why can't you force it? It's in, in you, it's the other, it's just one person that will end up enjoying it. And that's no more intimacy. Why would you force your partner? And it's not once, it's a habit. It becomes a habit. Even when she stops, she stops you or she tells you or she corrects she tells you, okay, it's wrong. I don't, don't do that. Or maybe I'm not ready. You should understand. You should try to understand that. Okay. She's actually not ready or he's actually not ready for that. Why would you want to force it on her or force it on me? Yeah. Just to have your way. You know, like, like it's been said, you know, uh, like I said earlier, that is actually debatable and uh, a lot of people will contest some of these views. But the reality is the fact that, um, one, the man will tell you that I went to this lady's parents. I paid for her dowry. That's always the point. Yes. I paid your dowry. Yes. I paid 100,000. And as such, if I, pay, if I, if I pay your dowry, and mm-hmm. which means that, okay, one of the things I'm supposed to have that you're not supposed to deny me of, of which even the religion has even given me the right, is the fact that they said, okay, we have actually made them like more of like what's like a farm. So you can actually go at any point in time to go and cultivate. So with that kind of orientation, with that kind of ideology, it means that, okay, fine, if any time maybe the man has a sexual urge, he can actually have access to the woman. When she is also in the mood. Yeah, but, but, but then, like, like it's, it's been said, when he talks about the mood, it's actually, diff- it, 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 um, it differs from male to female. And when most cases, this is actually the basis of where issues of extramarital affairs comes in. So if the woman says, okay, fine, I, I mean, the man says I'm interested the first time and he said, okay, um, please, and this, and the man said, okay, okay, I understand. The man goes, the second time, I'm not the mood. The third time, I'm not the mood. The man refuses, okay, fine. It seems this thing is not, me. This, this woman is not actually up for it. And the next thing is, the man will have every justification to go outside. So you just believe everything not about understanding. She was understanding. I mean, your wife, okay, you leave, you go to work. Your wife goes to work. She comes back. She enters the kitchen, cooks for you, takes care of the kids, cooks, cooks for the kids, prepare the kids so they, 
and you still expect, okay, fine, even if you still, and you still expect her to, you, not to have a choice to want to, to wanting to give you intimate, uh, intimate pleasure or not. It should be an understanding. You should be understand. You should understand your wife. You should, she should understand you. And it should be an agreement. I mean, it's a mutual thing. If she says she's learning the work, understand her. I mean, don't think she does that always. So why would you force your will on her? Why would you want to force your will the way she doesn't want it? That is an abuse to me. Oh, I, I think for, for me, there are, there are more ways in which uh, people can actually solve such a problem. Number one is the fact that there is, there is a need for understanding. Uh, and aside understanding, even when we want to pick um, during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even when um, they, they were in Itikaf, like, like we have now, and uh, Aisha radiallahu anha is actually having her menses. So even when the Prophet, so at some point in time, the Prophet will have to stretch his neck on a lap, even when the, she's not pure at that period. So it doesn't mean that they can't be, um, maybe something devoid of the sex, it's uh, the sexual intimacy, but that kind of uh, maybe intimate um, coming together of both party, trying to have time together, that alone for some people is actually worthwhile than even the one that maybe there is a um, actual sexual intimacy within the both parties. So these are things that uh, couples should actually, uh, they should create more time in such a way that um, there will be an atmosphere for the both parties to, to be. So when the both parties can actually have, okay, they know that, okay, this is our, uh, our sleeping time or this is our time whereby maybe we need to connect together as I'm born together as a family. That way, there won't be, even when the person is actually making an excuse or the person is trying to say, okay, today I'm not so okay. You're able to understand. But if you don't create that opportunity, maybe the only time that you come close to the woman is the time that you need sexual uh, this thing with her. Then definitely, and when you don't get it, there's go definitely going to be a problem. Yes, and when she refuses you, then it comes where you have to force yourself. Of course, it's where you have to force yourself or force your way on her. It comes in bruises. You will slap, hit her. My best, you know, you hit her just to get your, because of course you want to resist. And then you, you wanted to get your way by force into her. It comes to it, you hitting her or trying to force her, thereby inflicting injuries on her. And which is very wrong. 